Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here, and today I am making the second video of the GUI calculator series, the remake. Um, and in the last video, we created a uh, a J frame for our calculator, and today we're going to be moving on to the layout for the J panel, which we're going to be doing right now. So let's just get started. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a new grid bag layout, not GERD, <laughs> grid bag layout, layout, and this is what we're going to be using as our layout for our calculator. So layout equals new grid bag layout, and then what we need to do is do this, layout.set, uh, no, 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 dot column widths equals new int okay so basically what we're doing is we're setting um, the different widths of the grid so each column has its own width and we're gonna keep these the same because we want the buttons to be like the same size so how what I did here is I have the width at 320 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this up into four um, four different columns. So what we need to do is we're going to have widths of 80, 80 each each one, and then we're going to do the same thing with uh, row heights equals new int, um, except it's going to be six of these. I think it's six. I might have to change that later. I can't remember what our calculator is going to look like. So. Um, what we'll do right here is just set layout new grid bag layout. No, 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 not new grid bag layout. Just layout. So we're going to be using that grid bag layout that we created already. Um, so this actually gives us the opportunity to create our buttons, our first buttons, and position them on the screen. We might not get to positioning them, but we will create them. So we're actually going to use an array this time um, number buttons so this is going to be all the numbers 0 through 9 um, and in here we'll do number buttons equals new j button and 10 so there will be 10 buttons in this array and we're actually going to just loop through and initialize all of these number buttons buttons that length i plus plus all right so in here what we want to do is number buttons i equals new j button and then the name the the text that's going to be on it is just going to be the number of its indice so uh j button 0 will be button 0 j button 1 will be button 1 so that's basically what we did. Now, what we need to do here is create a new um, grid bag constraints variable, and we'll just call this GBC. Now, if I can spell constraints right, so basically what this is going to do is this going to allow us to position our buttons and other things on the screen. So, um, here, let's do okay. GBC dot grid x equals zero. GBC dot grid y equals zero. One second. Okay, so we set the grid, um, the GBC grid x and grid y to zero. Um, I'm actually gonna draw something out here to explain how this works. So let's see if I can get paint on it up. All right. So basically, what we've done is we've created ourselves our J J panel right here. I know my sketching is amazing, um, and uh, and it's gonna now it's split up. So there are four columns, and then six rows. Well, and they're the same size. This is not to scale, but they're all the same size. So when we're setting our grid Y, it's this way. So this is zero, one, two, three. Four and five, 
And then when we're setting our grid x, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So when I'm setting the position to 0, 0, I'm, I'm putting the J button in here, if that makes any sense. So, and so now that we've set that, we do number buttons, number buttons, zero, oh no wait, add number buttons, zero, zero, GBC. So what should happen is we should get, oh, I never initialized that, um, it was new grid bag constraints um, so what should we get we should get is a J button in the top left corner now it's not filling the whole area because I haven't set that now what we would do is we do GBC dot fill equals grid bag constraints dot both I think now what that will do is, is it'll fill that whole grid position so that's a zero button um, but we're going to move this around in the next video, because I don't want the zero at the top. <laughs> so that's, that's basically it for this tutorial. I'll be back next time, and we're going to add all of the number buttons and a few more of them. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time.